All right, guys, it's been a productive week. I've went ahead and short blocked the motor. I've put everything else together as far as the oil system. So it was ready to have a uh, oil pan put on it after I receive a couple of gaskets that are still in the mail. Uh, so in the meantime, I went ahead and elected to get uh, the Supertex uh, stainless steel valves, uh, which will allow us to have a little bit more horsepower being put into the motor without having to worry about uh, possibly dropping a valve or um, you know the valve shattering in case there's some type of an impact uh, then causing massive damage to the uh, to the motor so uh, those didn't cost too much they're about $160 for a set of eight so I went ahead and uh, did that as a little bit of an insurance uh, uh, policy there so I wanted to talk to you guys about some of the challenges that I'm expecting to, to face uh, with this particular project um, one thing uh, that I'm coming up on right now is turbo selection so I thought that Selecting a turbo would be a lot easier. Maybe I was a little bit naive on uh, this thought. And so when I started to look for a turbo that would be great for this application, um, I was just, my head was just spinning. There's just so many different uh, turbos out there and different profiles and everything else. And um, it's been a bit of a challenge trying to figure out what is the right direction to go. Um, so when we first started this journey, my target was uh, 350 horsepower to the wheels. Uh, for this particular project but uh, after doing some thinking and uh, you know kind of figuring out the fact that you know I have forged rods forged pistons um, you know just now got those uh, stainless steel uh, valves I think we could push it a little bit further so my new goal is about 400 horsepower to the wheel so with that I have to find a turbo that's going to match um, you know that goal and do it in a way that it's not going to be a whole bunch of turbo lag um, before actually hitting that goal and it just being at the very top end of the uh, the power band. So with that, I've been considering getting the, the Garrett uh, G25-550. Um, that you know, turbo is really known for spooling up and coming to life very low on the power band. And that's exactly what I want since this is a street car. It's not a, you know, a, uh, a drag car or uh, I might take it to the track every once in a while. Uh, but mainly I want something that's just fun and enjoyable so that when I'm hitting the gas, uh, it's just really coming alive. So uh, that's what I'm looking at right now. But now after looking at the, the you know, the G25-550, you got to get the tubular uh, manifold and that's going to add more costs and more expenses and everything else. So I'm trying to see if um, there's maybe some other type of uh, alternative that um, can be a little bit easier on the budget. Um, but still get that same type of um, uh, response and feel. So that's one of the main things uh, I'm working on this week, but upcoming challenges really are going to be dropping the old engine out of the car, mounting the new engine into the vehicle. Of course, we have to do some modifications for the, uh, uh, the motor mount. Um, then after that, just having the electronics uh, tie in with the, uh, the ECU, uh, you know, so the, the Porsche making sure that that's talking properly to the ECU and then the one that's kind of uh, on the back of my mind always is tuning uh, just since you know the way that I'm approaching this is utilizing the old Passat um, uh, ECU I want to make sure that it is something that's going to be able to be tunable um, and not just create a headache at the end of the day so a lot of things on my mind right now but uh, I'm glad that you guys are with me I'm going to be next week working on uh, putting those valves in the cylinder head. I'll go ahead and make a video of that as well. In the meantime, if you have any turbo suggestions or anything that you think I should take a look at, please let me know. And please uh, like, subscribe, and uh, continue to follow me on this journey. Uh, so thank you guys, and uh, I'll see you next time.